Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell, but stupid buses. Probably that will tell you that I am now in London. I have finally moved out, and it's quite a nice little room. It's fairly big. I've got myself a king size bed and quite a bit of space so I'm fairly happy. I'm quite pleased with what I've got for the amount that I'm paying for it so yes uh, unfortunately I did vlog the um, the journey and stuff but because I don't have a Mac I can't use my Windows computer that very well to convert the videos and make them in time with each other because when I take the foot cam uh, videos and put them into Movie Maker it all takes it out of sync and I would so much prefer it if I had an Apple computer to be able to completely make much better videos, much better vlogs, so for now it's just going to have to be me for a while because I don't have the money to get back. <laughs> but anyway, so today was um, my first day back at uni and last night I spent the first night alone for quite a long time because Obviously I've had my boyfriend uh, living in my house uh, over the summer and he's still living there because he's now got a job at home and he needs to build up some money before he can find his own place and then when I finish uni I can hopefully move in as well, depending on how things pan out for that. But uh, yes, so he's busy at work at the moment so I'm quite proud of him for actually having a job and having the, you know, the drive to actually get up in the morning and go. It makes me really happy to see that. But yeah, um, sleeping alone in a king size bed is strange. I've never had that much room in a bed before. Not even on a, uh, you know, sleeping on a double, you know, that's, you know, that's normally enough. Sleeping on a single was enough for me for many, many years. But sleeping on a king size, <laughs> it's quite big. <laughs> but other than that, it's uh, been quite a nice day. Um, it was a bit hectic this morning, I had to go in early to get to uni to try and get a new ID card but um, I was standing in a queue for about 45 minutes and then they decided to put, no, close the door, that's it, your section of the uni is done for the day, it's time for a new one to start so that was a bit of a waste of time so I was uh, quite a bit upset. Um, and yeah, uh, my lecture was quite good. It was um, uh, it was all to do with the dissertation and it was an introductory, so we basically got it all outlined and our deadline dates are quite soon, so it's a bit scary, but you know, you kind of have to learn to deal with it and get on with it. But um, yeah, so other than that, we had one really, really, really good thing today. Because it's still technically Freshers' Week, even though lectures have started this week, they've been giving out free goodie bags all week so what I decided to do was I picked one up for myself and I picked one up for my boyfriend since they did girls and boys bags so I just want to show you what was inside they come in a blue pink bag and they give you uh, this is kind of reminding me of the video I did myself but I didn't upload it to YouTube I kind of kept it as a memento but uh, in my first year I had a student aid box uh, for when I moved into my halls of residence and this is kind of the same stuff except uh, the other one, uh, the student aid box had a lot more in it but this is still quite cool. So they've given me a uh, Rice Krispie Squares uh, limited edition orange chocolate bar which I think is quite cool. Uh, that's also in uh, Rob's one as well. Um, there are some PG tips tea bags. So, might give them a try at some point. Uh, this is a Palmolive Thermal Spa test uh, like sample thing. You just take it out and shower with it, obviously. Uh, let's see, we've got, uh, oh, we've got some more samples. There's a Nivea Irresistibly Smooth Body Lotion. There is a Garnier Body Intensive 7 Day Lotion. And there is a Nivea Pure and Natural Body Lotion and a Pure and Natural Face Care Cream, which is quite cool. So I might use them eventually. Uh, what else 
Medicine Care Water is a energy drink, very, very cheap energy drink, whereas at the front, how cheap it is, 35p for an energy drink. Uh, that was also in uh, Rob's one, so I might nick it because I might need the energy drink. Uh, there is some uh, pads for emergencies, obviously. And um, interestingly, the pads came with this little case to put them in, which I think is actually quite cool. You know, it kind of you know takes the embarrassment away of say if they fell out of your bag or something. So that's always handy. Uh, there's uh, all that's left in here is some vouchers and just general like help stuff and then there's this one at the bottom of the bag which it is a uh, 17 branded uh, hide and chic uh, eye brightening concealer which is actually quite useful because I was thinking to myself the other week I actually do need some concealer because I have very bad dark circles literally every day, I can't get rid of them, it's because I'm such a stressy person and I get too emotional over everything. <laughs> yes, so that's all of that and I think I've got time to just show you what was in um, my wonderful bag. Obviously as I said there was the squares and the energy drink, but what's different is, I can show you, obviously the bag is beauty, and for the boys. Uh, uh, oh yeah, this was quite quite an unusual, very big thing to actually have in one of these good bags. But there's a Wilkinson sword shaver, which is you know quite a nifty thing to have in a free little bag. For uh, energy drink, uh, there is a free tiny tiny sample of the new uh, Lynx Excite, which actually looks. And I did actually have a smell of it earlier, it smells delicious, I love it. And then other than that, there's not much else other than also this uh, Old Spice um, spray stuff, which is quite cool. Uh, obviously, if you've seen the advert for Old Spice, <laughs> you can tell why I'd be laughing. I'm a horse. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we've got in our bags today. And, um, yeah, so tomorrow I have a... Um, a lecture, early lecture at 9 o'clock till 12 and then Wednesday I have a long day of 10 till 5 for World Theatre 3 so it's going to be an extremely long day and there's just so much more other things to get done this week like I've got to sort out a new doctors to register to which I might do on Thursday, I don't know yet um, I've also got to sort out stuff for the house like council tax exemption stuff and oh, all of that and you, you could probably tell by now, but my voice is actually going quite a bit because my nose is bunged up and I think this is probably because I'm allergic to London. You know, I kind of, I moved in on Saturday and I was sneezing maybe a little bit a couple of days before, but not too bad. And then after that and after today being around, I see a lot of students in UEL smoke and there was so much smoke about that I don't think my chest could handle it because I have asthma, so... It kind of uh, got too deep and uh, it all clogged up my lungs and I was coughing for quite a bit earlier but other than that, other than that the day was great, it's just I have to get used to being back in such a smoky environment but I'm getting a bit of a cold now because this side of my nose is blocked up <laughs> but still, you know, you just have to do what you can, grin and bear it and get through it. So yeah, just looking at the time now, I've nearly done this for 9 minutes, so I'm very sorry if I rambled, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and um, if there's any uh, new students or returning students going to uni, if you'd like to post a comment and tell me how your experience is at the moment, have you had you know the same kind of things that I've had with free goodie bags, what sort of things did you get, and how are your lectures going at the moment, and most importantly, how drunk did you get at Freshers Week? <laughs> that would be quite an interesting one to find out. So thank you all for watching and I shall see you again for another update very soon. Take care.